there everyone and welcome back to another Arcane Devlog. So I've been away for a few months, in typical Randall fashion of course. But yeah, I'm excited to be back, pumped to get working again. It was really nice seeing all of your guys' comments on the previous video about me switching from Unreal Engine into my own custom engine. It was really great to see everyone's opinion on the topic and uh, and just have a chat with some of you guys. And on that note, I've actually created a new Discord server for this channel. So if you want to receive updates on what I'm working on live as it's happening, or if you just want to stop by and help me procrastinate, then the link for that will be down in the description. Anyways, we've got a whole one month worth of progress to get through. So fasten your seatbelts, fellas, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. So I'm gonna start work on getting a very, very rough prototype main menu system going, just so we can interact with all the world systems that we've sort of started to create, but they're a bit empty at the moment. So I've gone and created a rough little main menu here, as you can see. Uh, we've got some nice little buttons in here. We can exit. Don't know why I did that. Uh, we can press play. But yeah, this is basically gonna be a list of how many saves are currently um, in the save folder. And you're gonna be able to just click on these and it'll take you right into that world. That's the idea of it at least. So I've just been hitting a lot and a lot of bugs with this uh, whole position system, like setting the world positions. Um, and looking back on it, there's a lot that can be improved. Uh, this is one of the first things that I did uh, when creating this engine. So I think I'm gonna have to give it a bit of a rework. Okay, so I've done pretty much half of the rework. I feel like we don't need the third dimension whatsoever. This is probably pretty naive of me, but I can't see any use for a third dimension in this game. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go through with that. So we got the mat four, time to make a mat three and completely shift the whole dynamic of the engine into a confined two dimensional space. This is gonna be fun. So I've been fiddling with this for a little bit and I completely forgot that there's such thing as column major. Ah well, easy fix. At least I know why it's not working now. <laughs> Ooh. We are back in business, boys. Hell yeah. So it's taken me a while, but I have finally done all of the transformation rework type stuff. There are a few things I needed to touch up as I went along, but it's running pretty nicely now. To show you a little example, this is going to be the world widget, um, at least for now. It's definitely going to change in the future. But if we go into the play here, then we can hover over this and it's going to expand out. And um, if we can just debug the collisions here. I don't know why I did that, but I just felt like trying out the animation system. And um, yeah, looks, looks pretty nice. I'd give myself a bit of a break and go on a little hike. This one was just a trail on Mount Allen. It was about a two hours drive just northwest of Brisbane. So yeah, I just decided to go on a bit of an adventure. Oh, that was a fat drive. Probably like way out of focus and stuff, but hang on, ready? This probably isn't working whatsoever. My middle name is Speed. Alright, I'm tired now. I 
I don't like that sound. This isn't gonna be scary at all. Our descent into darkness, away from the beautiful sun. I was absolutely exhausted when I got home last night, so I just went straight to bed. Uh, I've just woken up, and we are going to be continuing work on getting this text box working. So yeah, this text box is going to provide a means for us to actually input the world name and create it in the first place. So the text box class is finally complete. We can enter in text. Uh, there's a few things missing, like a like just backspace holding to like delete the whole thing, and um, you know like the control A selection. But that's not too important for now. We don't really need it. Looking pretty good. It's time for the real test. We've got an RGB color here. If all that conversion stuff that I just wrote um, works, then this and this value should be exactly the same. So yeah, that, that really didn't work. <laughs> okay, back to the drawing board. <laughs> Never mind, I figured out what it was. I had this as a plus as opposed to a minus. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to rework the animation system somehow. Yeah. Gotta love a whole two day detour. <laughs> Oh, I love when that happens. So I started out doing the um, hue saturation luminance conversion and then when I went to go implement that because what I was trying to do is um, Where are we at? So basically this uh, world generation button. I wanted it grayed out um, If there was nothing typed in the text box and to have it grayed out get rid of saturation You know, that's that's the most logical way of doing things so that's what I've done here. Uh, you can't click it. It's a disabled button. So I've implemented that. So yeah, so I implemented the um, saturation shifting. So then I was like, hey, animation system looking a little bit old over there. <laughs> so I gave that bad boy a bit of a touch up. That's what, I was, that's what I spent all of yesterday doing. Nothing on the surface has changed. It's all just back end stuff. It's just a lot more stable now, I guess. I mean, it it's really not technically coffee if it's instant coffee, but like caffeine is caffeine. Ooh, there goes my taste buds, that's hot. Absolutely exhausted in the best way possible though. <laughs> That's how long I've worked for for today, which isn't a bad effort. Uh, we can definitely get it up higher to around the 10, 12 hour mark, hopefully. I did a bit of procrastination here and there, so yeah. So what did I work on today? I'm like, hey, let's, uh, let's try and do like a nifty little fade in effect. Let's just fade out the main menu, right? So I tried that, but it was extremely buggy. So I had to rework the entire visibility system, which is pretty much what I've been doing for the past five hours or so. It's been a lot of messing around. I tried to overcomplicate it way too much and turns out the solution was just under my nose the whole time, which is pretty much how it always goes, right? <laughs> so, I'm gonna go to bed now. I am absolutely exhausted, but it has been an amazing, amazingly productive day. We are 
finally making a bit of visible progress. So I've just gone and updated the player and the camera class real quick to just integrate into the world a bit better. Uh, when we create the world, it's gonna actually spawn us in and uh, we're gonna be running around and do stuff and it's gonna be pretty cool. What's this? Ah, uh, right, I know what it is. Okay, anyway, oh. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. There we are, nice and fixed. Anyway, so I reckon that's gonna be all for this devlog. I've right, had a nice productive month or so. Uh, we've gotten quite a bit of work done, especially towards the end there. And yeah, we're finally getting into some world generation stuff. Hopefully I'll have some more stuff on that in the near future. Maybe next week, you never know. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to consider subscribing if you haven't already. Leave a like, all that good stuff. And I'll uh, see you next time. Can I stop waving now? Thank you.